So continuing 2.2 on the slopes of lines, um, we got to also take a look at parallel lines. And parallel lines are lines that will never touch each other. Um, they will keep going on forever and ever and ever because they are parallel lines, but they will never cross ever. And what makes them parallel also is that they have the same slope. Parallel lines have the same slope. That's how you know that they are parallel. Perpendicular lines are lines that cross at a right angle. So when the two lines cross each other, they will form a right angle. Perpendicular lines have slopes that are opposite reciprocals. That means they flip them and you make it negative. So remember that. Flip it, make it negative. Flip it, make it negative. Flip it, make it negative. Flip it, make it negative, right? Slopes. So if I gave you one half, you would flip it, which would be two over one, and make it negative, which is negative two over one. If I gave you three fifths, you would flip it, which is five thirds, and make it negative. So it would be negative five thirds. If I gave you uh, an eight, you would flip it, so it would be one over eight, and you'd make it negative. So it would be negative one over eight. It works the same even with negatives. If I gave you negative uh, one seventh, you'd flip it. So you'd have negative 7 over 1, and you'd make it negative. Negative, negative 7 over 1 is the same as positive. So you're just kind of doing the opposite to it. That doesn't do compute. So are these slopes parallel, perpendicular, or neither? So first I need to find the slope of each of them. And there's the slope formula again. So I would do negative 1 minus 3, right? Negative 1 minus 3 over 3 minus negative 3. So I bop out the bottom, that's um, minus a negative is the same as plus. So I actually have a uh, negative 4 over 6, which is negative 2 thirds. Over here, I would do 3 minus negative 3 to minus negative 2. So both of those, it's minus a negative, minus a negative. So it's like saying plus. I bop, bop them, and I get 6 over 4, which is 3 over 2. This right here, and this right here. What are they? They are perpendicular. They're perpendicular because I flipped this to get negative 3 over 2, and then the opposite of that is 3 over 2, positive 3 over 2. So they are perpendicular. So are these slopes parallel, perpendicular, or neither? So I do it again. So let's do some slopes again. So this would be 4 minus 1 over 3 minus negative 3. So I end up getting, I bop bop those because it's minus a negative, I end up with 3 over 6, which is 1 half. Over here, 1 minus a negative 3, 4 minus a negative 4, I bop bop them because it's minus a negative, which is like saying plus, 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 plus. So I get 4 over 8, which is 1 half. Since these are exactly the same, they are parallel. So in example six, it says in the Mojave Desert in California, temperature can drop uh, quickly from day to night. Suppose the temperature drops from 100 degrees at 2 p.m. to 68 degrees at 5 a.m. Find the average rate of change and use it to determine the temperature at 10 p.m. So here's what I know. At 2 p.m., it's 100. At 5 a.m., it's 68. So I can basically find the slope of these lines. So I would do 68 um, minus 100 and 5 a.m. minus 2 p.m. So when we're doing this, the top is no problem, negative 32, but I need to find the difference between those two items. 5 a.m. minus 2 um, p.m. That's actually a 15-hour difference because uh, when you circle back around, um, you have to take into account that you overlap it the 12 hours, and then on top of that, you add another 3 to it to get to the 5. So it is actually um, a total of 15 hours. So negative 32 divided by 15, it means it's going down roughly, and this is roughly, it's going down about 2 degrees Fahrenheit per hour. So it's roughly from 2 p.m. to 5 a.m. It goes down about 2 degrees every single hour, roughly. So between 10 p.m. or 2 p.m. and uh, 10 p.m. Um, is 8 hours. So negative 2 times 8 is negative 16. So that means it goes down 16 hours. Or sorry, yeah, 16 degrees. So 100 minus 16, that means by 10 p.m. it would be 84 degrees outside. <laughs>
today, Junior? <laughs> so there's your homework. Um, this is mainly just on slopes, so take your time. Um, and if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to email me with them. Thank you.